This is section 3.9, derivatives of exponential and log functions. And in this video, we're going to go through an example of a problem where they're asking us to find the equation of a tangent line. So remember, whenever we're finding the equation of a line, we need two things. We need the slope and we need a point on the line. So first, let's start with the slope. Remember, the slope of a tangent line is just the derivative of the function. So we're given this function, s of t is equal to 3 to the 9t. And in order to find the derivative of that, we're going to have to use a rule that we learned in this section. We're going to use the rule b to the x. Remember, to find the derivative of a function, that's b to the x. It just becomes ln of b times b to the x. And I'm going to add a part here. I'm going to add times x prime. That's just to remind you that in case it's not just x up here, but it's another function, you'll need to use chain rule in order to find the derivative of that exponent. All right, so going back here to number 27 in your book, I'm going to start by finding the slope of this function, or sorry, finding the derivative of this function. I get s prime of t is equal to, using my rule over here, it becomes ln of 3 times 3 to the 9t times the derivative of whatever this exponent is, which ends up just being 9. All right, so here's my general form of the slope, but I'm interested in the slope at the value t equals 2. So now I'm going to plug in 2 into my derivative function. I get ln of 3 times 3 to the 18 times 9. Can't really simplify too much. I'm just going to leave it like this. This is the slope of my tangent line. All right, have my slope. Second thing I need is the point on the line. So in order to find that, they've already given me the value t equals 2. I'm going to plug 2 into the function and see what my s of t is. So s of 2 becomes 3 to the 9 times 2 is 18. And that's it. That's my output. So this gives me the point 2, 3 to the 18. Alrighty, aren't these numbers fun? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put these two things together into the point slope form, find our equation of the line. So if you remember, point slope form tells us y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now just plug in all my values on the left here, I get y minus y1, which is 3 to the 18, is equal to m, my slope, which is just 9 times 3 to the 18, ln 3, times my x minus x1, or in this case, t, times t minus my t1, which is 2. You can go ahead and multiply things out, simplify it a little bit. I'm just going to leave it like this. And this is the equation of your tangent line of this function at the value t equals 2. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.